did you know that across Tendring there are not just a few, there are not just a dozen, but there are many people that are homeless. And that includes young people and adults and the elderly. I'm shocked. And what we're going to see in just a moment is a work which is helping people that are living on the streets. Yeah, living on the streets here, in your community, in my community. And we have an opportunity to help them and to do something about it. We're going to go and visit the Soup Rock. So what, what is it? What, yeah, what is the soup rum? Ten, eleven years ago, I was down the front and I came across a young man who was suicidal. Yeah. And I was walking on the beach and I went alongside him and he took me round the different bed sits, the caves, the caves of diamonds. <laughs> introduce you to a guy called um, Vic and he's going to share a little bit about um, why he's here at the soup run and what it means for him. So uh, Vic, you're a good man, it's good for you to go on camera mate. That's alright, that's fine. Vic, just tell us um, why you're here. Uh, the reason I'm here because I had my uh, ex-partner, I lost everything for my ex-partner, I lost my flat, they had kids and everything else. And, uh, and this is where I am, I'm on the streets now because they're learning everything else. So whereabouts did you used to live? Up at uh, Bucky's Elm. Oh right. And so you've come to Claxon because why? Because I've got no I mean I come down here for the soap run because it helps me at night time I like you to stand and talk to people as well. So whereabouts are you living at the moment? Are you living in a in a, in a flat in No, I'm everywhere here, there and everywhere. I'm staying at the moment, I'm staying at friends because they put because they uh, keep me up for about like, three or four days, but after that I'm on the streets. So how long has this been going on for? Uh, it's come up two years now. Two years? Two years. Yep. How's that make you feel, Bill? Sick. You know what I mean? Because before that, I had everything. You know what I mean? I had a family, I had a family and all that lot. And now, I'm back to square one again. So you had a wife, you had kids? Yep. And where are they now? The, my little girl's with uh, foster carers, and uh, my, my ex is just is out of my life, out of my face. She's completely moved out of Claxon. Feel I feel I feel completely gutted. You know what I mean? I've done nothing. I mean, I've done nothing, nothing wrong to her, and then she gets the person she's married to, mate. They get the shit living daylights out of me on New Year's Eve. And so, really, life hasn't dealt you a very good hand. So, when you come here to the soup run, mm -hmm. what does it mean to you? I mean, it means that I can stand, come here and meet people and all that. Like, I can talk to people, like, I can talk to the people from the church as well. You know what I mean? Because they're, they're, I mean, they're not there, they're there to help us as well as we to help them as well, you know what I mean? Does it, does it make any difference? Uh, yeah, it does. It does make a difference, you see what I mean? Because I'm doing what I mean, because so during the day I'm walking around town and miserable as hell. Because there's nothing to do. And then by the I mean, and then they the bang on eight o'clock, I come down here. Because they're not, because they talk to people that I've seen that I know around town and that lot. So you know Vic, I mean? if, if the soup run was taken away, if it disappeared, what would that mean to you? Uh, if it disappeared, mate, we'd all be useless. I'd be useless. So the soup run's crucial? Yeah. Vic, thank you, my friend. No problem.